Namaste, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Yoga Shala with Brent Goebel in coordination with Peace of Blue Yoga. Today, we're going to be looking at a posture called Supta Padangushtasana, lying foot to big toe pose. This is a pose where we're going to be lying down and then gently grabbing the big toe and pulling it towards the face. If you have any severe back issues, heart conditions, or if this is the first day or second day of menstruation, you may want to work easy here. All right, let's get started. So we're down on the mat. Here's how we're going to get into Sukta Padangushtasana. Come down to your back on the mat. Feet are going to be together. Bring your left hand to the root of your left thigh just so it rests there. Bring your right leg straight overhead and with your right hand, with the three finger grip of the first three fingers, grab the big toe. Now if you can't reach, it's okay to bend your leg through here. So from here, I have the three finger grip. I'm gonna stay flexed through my left grounded leg and I'm gonna extend my right leg through here. Good, now we inhale, exhale for one. We might feel a little stretch back here through the hamstring, that's good. Two and three, this is the first variation. And four, I'm pulling in with the lower belly and five. Let's work into variation two. Right and left hand grab just below the ankle and we gently bring the upper body off the mat. Bringing the face close to the shin. Inhale, exhale for one. And stay activated through the left leg for two, for three, four, and five, slowly lower back down. Three finger grip again comes for variation three, back to the big toe. Bring the left hand back down to the left thigh, open up that right leg to the right side, and then we're gonna look to the left. Inhale, exhale for one. Inhale, exhale for two. Three, make sure the left hip stays grounded here. It doesn't follow the right leg. Four, and five. Bring the right leg back up straight overhead. Release the grip here and just hold the leg for three, two, one, and slowly lower the right leg back down. Let's do the other leg, variation one. Bring the left leg straight overhead. With the first three fingers, grab the big toe here. Make sure that the grip is open, okay? The palm should be facing towards the right leg and not outside. It's better for the shoulder. So taking the first three finger grip, right hand comes to the root of the right thigh and gently pull that leg towards the face. Keep your upper body on the mat for two and three and four. Inhale, exhale for five. Good. Working into variation two. Bring the right hand and left hand over to the left ankle. Bring the upper body close to that left shin. Inhale, exhale for one. Stay grounded through that bottom leg. For two, flex the foot if it helps. For three, and four, and five. Slowly lower back down. Three fingers, take the big toe grip. Open up that left leg over to the left side, keeping the right leg grounded. Now we're gonna look over to the right this time, creating that oppositional stretch through the left shoulder. Inhale, exhale for one. For two, make sure that hip stays grounded. Three. And four and five. Looking back up towards the ceiling, bringing the left leg straight overhead, releasing the grip, bringing the hands down, but keeping the leg lifted for three, and two, 
and one, dropping it all the way back down. And that's Supta Padangusthasana. Supta Padangusthasana is a pose with wonderful benefits, including increasing circulation to the pelvis, the abdomen, the heart, and even the head. It's wonderful for releasing tension headaches, it's great for menstruation, and also really great for preventing heart disease and improving lung capacity. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoy your practice and you enjoy your health. I'll see you next time.